Hi, I'm Bryony. Welcome to Yoga with Bryony. And today the practice is going to be focusing on self-love. So if you're ready to wrap yourself around in a blanket of love, slowly roll out your yoga mat and let's get started. Hiya. Okay, so we're going to start the practice today in extended child posture, Uttita Balasana. So bring the big toes to touch and the knees as wide as the yoga mat, send the hips back to the heels. And when you're ready, we're slowly going to walk the palms forwards. Okay, so spreading the fingers out wide, inhale to look forward, exhaling slowly, softening the forehead to the mat. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can make a palm pillow or you can make a pillow with your fists and rest your forehead gently on your fist. Or if you prefer, you can come into a kneeling position and come into child posture, swimming the fingers back. And if you've got any knee pain, you can place a rolled up blanket underneath the knees. Or if you prefer, you can come into a seated position. So whichever feels good for you. Okay, so we're just going to take a moment here to settle in. Feeling the beautiful support of the earth beneath. Relaxing through the skin of the face, the tongue, the jaw and the mouth. Letting go of the day thus far putting any to-do lists on hold and just taking a moment here to come into the present moment. Okay, then begin to notice your breath. Feel the breath coming in and the breath going out. And as you breathe in, feel your breath massaging you all the way down to the base of your spine. And as you exhale, soften. Inhale to breathe into the base of the spine and allow your breath to massage you. Exhaling out through the mouth. And just take a moment here to be. Allow the thinking mind to take a break. And just allow yourself this time to relax. And perhaps you can gently start cultivating an audible ujjayi breath where there's a soft constriction at the back of the throat. Helping you to further massage the body, to soothe the mind and to come into the present moment. And the mantra today is I choose to love myself. So just take a moment here to notice how that makes you feel. And if that mantra doesn't resonate with you, just enjoy this gentle stretch and relaxation. Okay, so when you're already feeling that beautiful connection between your hands and the mat, we're slowly just going to start rocking the forehead very gently from side to side. Feeling that beautiful massage in the inner eyebrow space. 
still softening through the face, the tongue, the jaw and the mouth. And just take a moment here to feel this beautiful massage. Okay, so when you're ready, slowly turn your head and rest your left ear very gently on the mat. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the left hand side of the neck. And as you breathe in, feel that beautiful expansion of the rib cage. Exhaling to soften. Inhale to find expansion. Uh, exhaling, soften. Uh, okay, great, good job. Slowly bring the head back to centre. This time we're going to rest the right hand side of the head very gently on the mat. This time feeling that beautiful stretch in the right hand side of the leg. And just take a moment here to connect to beautiful and amazing you. Softening through the feet and the toes. Softening through the mouth and feeling a beautiful connection between your foundation and the mat. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the armpits, in the front of the body. Okay, slowly return the head back to centre. This time we're going to bring one forearm in, followed by the other. Ah, oh, that feels amazing. Okay, and then very gently rest your forehead on the back of your forearm. This time, feeling that beautiful stretch in the back of the neck. Still relaxing through the mouth, the tongue and the jaw. And perhaps connecting to the mantra, I choose to love myself. Oh my gosh, self-love is so important. It's so important to nurture yourself, take good care of yourself. Allowing you to feel more relaxed, more calm and more centred. Still connecting to the sound of your breath. This time we're slowly going to turn the head and rest the right hand side on the back of the forearm. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the armpit chest. And take a moment here to connect your inner smile. Perhaps lifting the corners of the mouth slightly. Okay, inhale slowly, returning the head back to centre. And this time, resting the left hand side of the head on the back of the forearm. Okay, great, good job. Slowly bring the head back to centre. Reach the fingertips forwards, feeling that beautiful connection between the hands and the forearms and the mat. Spread the fingers out wide. Create space between the shoulders and the ears. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale. Press into the heels of the hands and reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Inhaling, in, exhaling, return the palms to the mat and then take a moment here to tend to your fingers. So find your active fingers here. And as you do this, you can really feel that engagement with your shoulders. Draw the shoulder blades down the back body. And then we're going to inhale one more time. Press the hands into the mat and then press into the heels. Reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Spread the fingers out wide, create space within your hands, feeling the fascia, your ligaments in your hands. Exhaling, returning the palms to the mat. Okay, great, good job. Then we're slowly gonna walk the hands towards the left hand side. Okay, so one more time, spread the fingers out wide, feel that beautiful connection with your hands and the mat. And we're gonna inhale, slowly look forwards. Exhaling, slowly drawing chin to chest, fold forwards. And taking a moment here to feel that beautiful stretch in the upper back body. 
feeling that lovely connection with the tops of the feet and the mat. Spreading the fingers out wide and feeling the space between the fingers. And then when you're ready, pressing away from your foundation, slowly look up. And this time we're gonna walk the right hand and we're gonna cross the right hand over the left. So still spreading the fingers out wide. Press down through your right shin. Inhale to look forward, exhaling to fold. Still listening to the sound of your audible, soft, ujjayi, oceanic breath. Allowing your breath to massage you and soothe you. Okay, so when you're ready, slowly look up, uncross the hands, and this time we're gonna cross the left hand over the right. So still spreading the fingers out wide. Inhale to look forward, exhaling, folding forwards. Still grounding down through the top of the right shin. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the hips. And feeling that wonderful connection with the palms of the hand and the mat. Okay, so when you're ready, pressing away from your foundation, slowly look up and cross the left hand. And then this time we're going to walk the hands back to centre. So one more time, feel that beautiful connection with your hands and the mat. Inhale to look forward. Exhaling, drawing chin to chest, navel to spine. Fold forwards. Inhale, press away from your foundation. Slowly look forwards and up to the sky if that feels good for you. Exhaling, curling the tailbone under, drawing navel to spine, chin to chest. Inhale, look forwards, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Exhaling, this time we're going to walk the hands over towards the right hand side. So still spreading the fingers out wide, grounding down through the left shin. And we're going to inhale, look forwards, exhaling, slowly drawing the chin to chest, folding forwards. Still listening to the sound of your breath. And allowing the sound of your beautiful breath to massage your body and to soothe you. Okay, so when you're ready, slowly look up. And this time we're going to cross the right hand over the left. So still spreading the fingers out wide. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the left hand side of the body. Inhale to look forwards. Exhaling, rounding through. Okay, slowly look up, uncross the left hand, and this time we're going to cross the right hand over the left. Oh, wow, that feels great. Okay, so one more time, inhale to look forwards, exhaling, drawing chin to chest, navel to spine, crown of the head shines towards the earth. Feeling that beautiful connection with the tops of the feet and the mat. Okay, so when you're ready, inhale, slowly look forwards, uncross the hands and then slowly bring the hands back to centre. One more time, spreading the fingers out wide, pressing into the tops of the feet. And we're going to inhale, slowly look forwards, open the chest, your heart space. Exhaling, rounding through, curl the tailbone under, chin to chest. Inhale, come forwards, drop the belly. Open the chest, and perhaps you can do this with your eyes closed. Exhaling, rounding through. So just take a moment here to move in your own time, synchronizing your breath with your movement, becoming absorbed by the sound of your breath and your movement, and embodying this movement, embracing this movement, and perhaps connecting to the mantra. I choose to love myself. Feeling more and more relaxed and more and more calm.
and allowing yourself to connect to love. Okay, so when you're ready, slowly bring your head back to centre. And this time we're going to walk the hands back and come to rest the hips on our heels. Okay, so if you've got any knee problems, perhaps you can place a rolled up blanket underneath your knees. So sitting up nice and tall, lift up from the pelvic floor. So careful not to collapse in the spine. So find integrity in this posture. And then slowly we're going to bring the hands forwards. And we're going to find a lion's breath. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to inhale in, slowly look up towards our third eye, look up towards the sky. And as we exhale out, we stick the tongue out and we look towards our third eye and let go of anything that you don't need. Okay, so when you're ready, inhale, look up. Exhaling, stick the tongue out, look towards the third eye and breathe out. Inhale, take a deep breath in. Exhaling out through the mouth, let it all go. Okay, we'll just do one more because it feels so good. So inhale in, looking up to the third eye. Exhale out through the mouth. Great, good job, okay. And then this time we're gonna turn the right hand in, followed by the left. So feeling that beautiful connection with your hands on the mat, spread the fingers out wide, find that clawing motion with your fingertips to take any pressure off the wrists. Okay, and if this is uncomfortable, you can bring the hands in like this. So you don't have to bring them all the way around. So whatever feels comfortable for you. Okay, so one more time, still sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna do lion's breath one more time. Why not? It makes you feel so good. Okay, so inhale, slowly look up and then look towards your third eye chakra. So inhale, exhaling, tongue out. Inhaling, exhaling, tongue out. Okay, should we do it one more time? Yeah, why not? Okay, so inhaling, exhaling, tongue out. Biggest lion's breath of the whole day. Great, good job. Okay, slowly return the hands to center and then we're going to bring the knees together. Okay, slowly bring the hands to heart center. Feel that beautiful connection with your thumbs and your heart space. Press into the tops of your feet and your shins. So when you're ready, we're gonna inhale, press away from the tops of your feet, your shins, come up into a kneeling position, reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhaling, floating the fingertips very lovingly down by your side, send the hips back. Send the gaze towards the mat. Inhale, slowly rise up. Oh, and bring all that beautiful energy with you in between your hands. Exhaling slowly, bringing your hands to heart centre. Okay, so when you're ready, inhale, rise up. And this time we're going to open the arms, coming into volcano posture. Pressing into the tops of the feet, the shins. Lifting up from the pelvic floor. Lengthening through the crown of the head. Softening the shoulder blades down the back body. And when you're ready, we're going to inhale. Exhaling slowly, turn to the left hand side bringing your right hand to rest gently on the outside edge of your left hip and the left hand behind you, resting very gently on the back of the sacrum. So inhale to find lift and lengthen. Exhale, slowly journey into your twist. Pressing into the tops of your feet and perhaps one more time, connecting to the mantra, I choose to love myself. Perhaps lifting the corners of the mouth slightly. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to inhale slowly, come forward. One more time, find our volcano arms. Spreading the fingers out wide, drawing the shoulder blades down the back body. Feeling that connection with your pelvic floor. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to inhale in. Exhaling this time, we're going to twist over to the right. So place your left hand on the outside edge of the right hip. Right hand comes to rest gently on the back of the sacrum. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, slowly look past your right shoulder. One more time, connecting to your inner smile. Connecting to beautiful and amazing you. And one more time, connecting to the mantra. 
I choose to love myself. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to inhale and exhaling one more time, come back to center, find our volcano arms, spread the fingers out wide, bring the hands together overhead, exhaling slowly, sending the hips back towards the heels, hands to heart center. Okay, so when you're ready, inhale, rise up, look up, exhaling, floating the fingertips down by your sides. Gaze is looking down, or perhaps you'd like to close your eyes. So inhale, rise up. Reach the fingertips out towards the sides. Hands overhead. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Okay, we'll just do it one more time. Inhale, rise up. Look up if that feels good for you. Exhaling, floating the fingertips down by your sides. Gaze is looking down. Inhale, rise up. Spread the fingers out wide and one more time. Gather all that beautiful energy in between your hands. Exhaling slowly, bringing the hands to heart center. Okay, so just take a moment here to close the eyes or soften the gaze past the nose. Creating space in between the shoulders and the ears. And just take a moment here to connect to beautiful and amazing you. Still listening to the sound of your breath, your spirit, your soul. And take a moment here to connect to you. Okay, so slowly open your eyes and this time we're gonna interlace the fingers. And when you're ready, we're just gonna slowly rotate the wrists here in one direction. So this is great for strengthening the wrists. So still sitting up nice and tall, careful not to collapse in the spine, lift up from the pelvic floor. And then when you're ready, reverse the rotation. Ah, oh, it feels amazing. I hope that feels good for you too. Okay, great, good job. And then when you're ready, we're gonna Press the palms out towards the front, slowly rise up one more time, coming up into a kneeling position. Reach the palms towards the sky, draw the shoulder blades down the back body, lift up from the pelvic floor, lengthen through the crown of the head. And then when you're ready, we're gonna inhale and exhaling, slowly tilt over towards the right hand side, ground down through the left shin. Inhale, come back to center. Exhaling this time, we're going to tilt over to the left hand side, ground down through the right shin. Inhale, come back to center. Exhaling over to the right, ground down through the left shin. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the left hand side of the body. Inhale, back to center. Exhaling over to the left, feeling that beautiful stretch in the right hand side of the body. Okay, so when you're ready, inhale, slowly come back to center. Slowly release the bind and reach the fingertips down. Slowly send the hips towards the heels. Gaze is looking down. Okay, so inhale, reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Look up. Exhaling, slowly bring your hands to heart center. Okay, so this time we're going to interlace the fingers, but the opposite way. So the weird way. Okay, so the opposite thumb is on top. I know it feels really weird. Great for the brain. Okay, and one more time, we're gonna find our wrist rotations. So still sitting up nice and tall. Take a moment here to connect to beautiful and amazing you, coming into the present moment. Ah, that feels great. Careful that the shoulders aren't hiking up towards the ears, so soften the shoulder blades down the back body. And then we're gonna reverse the circle. So it feels weird, doesn't it? Ah, oh, it feels great too. Okay, so when you're ready, slowly come back to stillness. And one more time, we're gonna press the palms away and reach them forwards and up, coming up into a kneeling position, pressing into the tops of the feet and the shins. And we're gonna inhale it, exhaling, tilt over to the left, ground down through the right shin. Inhale, come back to center, exhaling over to the right, press down through your left shin. Inhale, back to center, exhaling over to the left. Breathe out through the mouth. 
Inhale back to centre. Exhaling over to the right. Breathe out through the mouth. Great, good job. Okay, inhale, come back to centre. One more time. Slowly release the bind. Ah, oh, float the fingertips down by your sides. Bring the gaze towards the mat. Inhale, slowly rise up one more time, gathering all that beautiful energy between your hands. Exhaling, hands to heart centre. You're amazing. Okay, great, good job. Now we're slowly going to bring the hands forwards, coming into a tabletop position. So wrists are directly underneath the shoulders, spread the fingers out wide, find that clawing motion with your fingers. Elbow creases are shining forwards, press away from your hands, lengthen the neck. Knees are directly underneath the hips, press into the tops of the feet, draw navel to spine, so come to find your table. And then when you're ready, we're going to curl the toes under. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to drop the belly, allow the tailbone to shine up towards the sky and slowly look forwards. Exhaling, curling the tailbone under, pressing away from your hands, slowly lift the hips up towards the sky, coming into downward facing dog. Send the heels towards the mat. Feel the inward rotation of the thighs and when you're ready, we're going to inhale, come up onto the tiptoes. Slowly lower the knees towards the mat. One more time, drop the belly. Slowly look forwards and up. Allow the shoulder blades to glide down the back body. Exhaling, curl the tailbone under. Slowly sending the hips back and up into downward facing dog. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the backs of the legs. Okay, we'll just do it one more time. So when you're ready, inhale, come forwards onto the tiptoes. Slowly lower the knees, drop the belly, open your chest, your heart space. Slowly look forwards. And then this time, bring the gaze so it's looking down, walk the palms forwards. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale in, exhaling, pressing away from our foundation, slowly lifting the hips back and up, coming into downward facing dog. Taking a moment here to pedal out the feet. Spread the fingers out wide, press into both hands evenly. Find that clawing motion with your fingers. Broaden through the shoulders. Take a moment here to breathe into the backs of the legs. And feeling the external rotation of the shoulders and the inward rotation of the thighs. Then we're just going to take a moment here to bring the big toes in and the heels out slightly. And we're just going to take a moment of stillness here. So feeling the inward rotation of the thighs, softening the skin of the face, the tongue, the jaw and the mouth. And just take a moment here to be. And take a moment here to come into the present moment and perhaps connect to the mantra, I choose to love myself. Still listening to the sound of your breath. Allowing the breath to calm the mind, the nervous system and help you to come into the present moment. Okay, so slowly bring the heels back into centre. Then we're going to cross the right foot in front of the left. And then the left foot in front of the right. And slowly make your way up to the front of the mat, coming into forward fold, Uttanasana. So feet are hip width distance apart. Press into both feet evenly. Knees are soft. Legs are active. So spread the sits bones from left to right. Bend the knees as generously as you wish. And then take a moment here to release the weight of the head, the neck and the shoulders towards the mat. Perhaps closing the eyes or softening the gaze. And just take a moment here to let go.
and one more time take a moment here to be and know that you're amazing for showing up on the mat today for practicing self-care and self-love which is so so important Okay, so when you're ready, we're slowly going to bring the left fingertips into the center, soften the left knee, slowly reach the right fingertips along the inside edge of the left arm, across the chest and all the way up to the sky. Right foot is pressing into the ground, so the right leg is active, but keep a softness in the right knee. Inhaling, exhaling, slowly reaching the right fingertips down. This time we're going to bend the right knee and reach the left fingertips up towards the sky. So left leg is active, but the knee is soft. Inhaling, exhaling, return the left fingertips to the mat, reach the right fingertips up towards the sky. Exhaling, switch. So reach the left fingertips up towards the sky. And then just take a moment here to move in your own time. Oh, that feels great. And take a moment here to connect to the mantra. I choose to love myself. Oh, this feels great. I hope it feels good for you too. Okay, we'll just do it one more time to each side. Okay, so slowly return the fingertips towards the mat, pressing into both feet evenly, rooting down through the feet. When you're ready, we're going to inhale, reach the fingertips left to right, slowly rise up, reach the fingertips overhead, exhaling, hands to heart center. Okay, so pressing away from your foundation, soften the knees, inhale, reach up. Exhaling, opening up the arms, slowly float the fingertips down by your sides. Great, good job. Okay, so this time we're going to bend the knees, reach the belly to the tops of the thighs and slowly reach the fingertips back and up. Spread the fingers out wide, press into both feet evenly and when you're ready, we're slowly going to send our weight into our heels, send the hips back and then reach the fingertips forwards, coming into chair posture, variation. Okay, so when you're ready, inhaling, exhaling one more time, straighten the legs, but keep the knees soft, reach the fingertips back, spread the fingers out wide, exhaling, sending the hips back, bend the knees, sit down in your chair, reach the fingertips forwards. Perhaps you can come and sit down a little bit lower here. Legs are nice and active, gaze is looking forward. Okay, so last time, inhaling, exhaling slowly, reaching the fingertips back and up. Spread the fingers out wide, pressing into both feet evenly. Inhaling, exhaling, floating the fingertips down, reaching the fingertips up towards the sky. Okay, great, good job. Slowly bring the hands together overhead and slowly bring the hands to heart centre. And then yogi's choice, you can either bring the feet together or hip width distance apart, whichever you prefer. Okay, so one more time. We're going to inhale, rise up. Exhaling, float the fingertips down. We're going to inhale in, reach the hands towards the tops of the thighs. Find your halfway lift. Hug the elbows into the side body. And neck is nice and long. Knees are soft. Inhale in. Exhale, soften and fold. Great, good job. Fingertips come to the mat. Step the right toes back, coming into runner's lunge. Front knee over front ankle. Inhale to look forwards. Exhaling, soften the back knee. Come up onto the top of the back foot. Hug everything into the midline. And when you're ready, we're going to reach the fingertips back, down and up. Slowly rise up, coming into your crescent moon. So reach the fingertips back, find your micro back bend here. Exhaling, bend the elbows towards the sides, open out the chest, spread the fingers out wide, palms are facing forwards. Okay, great, good job. Inhale, rise up. Look up, one more time, find your crescent moon, hug everything into the midline, lift up from the pelvic floor. Exhaling, bend the elbows, gaze is looking forwards. 
Okay, we'll just do it one more time. Inhale, rise up. Look up. Exhaling, bend the elbows. And then when you're ready, we're slowly going to float the fingertips down. Plant the palms, curl the back toes under. Press up. And we're going to inhale in. Reach the fingertips up towards the sky. And then slowly look up. Okay, great, good job. So when you're ready, slowly return the left palm to the ground and we're slowly going to step the right foot up. So you can either come up in a couple of steps or one step, whichever feels good for you. Coming into Uttanasana, forward fold. One more time, take a moment here to release the weight of the head, the neck and the shoulders towards the mat. Softening through the face, the tongue and the jaw. And perhaps connecting to the mantra, I choose to love myself. Still listening to the sound of the breath. Okay, so when you're ready, pressing into both feet evenly, we're going to inhale, root to right. Reach the fingertips out left to right. Hands kiss overhead, exhaling all the way down through the midline, coming into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time the hands come to the front of the shins. Tuck the chin in slightly, find length from the crown of the head to the tip of the tail. Press into both feet, knees are nice and soft. Inhale, exhaling, soften and fold. Great, good job. Step the left toes back, coming into runner's lunge. Be light on your fingers, draw the shoulders away from the ears, send the right hip crease back. Inhaling, exhaling, slowly soften the back knee, come up onto the top of the back foot. Okay, so when you're ready, feeling that beautiful connection between the sole of the front foot and the mat. And then when you're ready, we're gonna sweep the fingertips back. Okay, so when you're ready, inhale in, sweep the fingertips down, forwards and up one more time, finding our crescent moon on this side. Slowly reach the fingertips back. Hug everything into the midline. Lift up from the pelvic floor. Inhaling, exhaling, bend the elbows. Gaze is looking forwards and open your chest and heart space. Inhale, reach the fingertips up one more time. Find your crescent moon. Feel that beautiful line of energy from the left toes all the way up to the crown of the head. Inhaling, exhaling, bend the elbows. Gaze is looking forwards. We'll just do it one more time. Come on, <laughs> it feels amazing. Okay, so inhale, reach the fingertips up and look back and up. Exhaling, bend the elbows. Great, good job. Okay, slowly float the fingertips down towards the mat. Plant the left palm, curl the back toes under. Press away from your foundation. Inhale, reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Look up. Exhaling, plant the right palm on the mat. Great, good job. Okay, so this time we're slowly going to send the back foot up to meet the top foot. So you can either come in one step or a couple of steps. Coming into forward fold. Ah, that feels great. Okay, so perhaps this time you'd like to hold opposite elbows and rock gently here from side to side. Pressing into both feet evenly. And taking a moment here to let go. Softening through the skin of the face, the tongue, the jaw and the mouth. And taking a moment here to connect to love, to self-love. Which is so, so important. Okay, slowly come back to Sanda and actually we're just going to change the hold because, you know, it's good to get balanced. So we'll just change the elbow hold here. And one more time, rock gently here from side to side. Okay, so when you're ready, slowly release the bind. And then one more time, press away from your foundation. Inhale, root to right. Reach the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Okay, and then we're just gonna take a moment here to stand in Tadasana, mountain posture. So bring your arms by your sides, palms are facing forwards. Tuck the chin in slightly, lengthen through the crown of the head, root down through the feet, knees are soft. 
and just take a moment here to connect to beautiful and amazing you. And perhaps one more time, lifting the corners of the mouth slightly. And perhaps one more time, connecting to the mantra, I choose to love myself. Okay, slowly open the eyes. This time we're going to bring the feet together. Okay, so standing up nice and tall and we're going to send our weight into our left foot. So as you do this, feel that connection with your pelvic floor and your center. So careful not to collapse in the left hip. Okay, and then slowly we're going to peel the right knee up and take a moment here to rotate the ankle in one direction, followed by the other. Then we're gonna interlace the fingers around the front of the shin, still standing up nice and tall, lengthening through the crown of the head. And then you can either stay here, or if you prefer, you can slowly lower the knee and bring the right foot back and take hold of the outside edge of your right foot. So as you're standing up here nice and tall, really feel the engagement with your pelvic floor because this will stabilize you in this posture. Root down through your foot, lengthen through the crown of the head and draw the shoulder blades down the back body. Okay, so slowly bring the knees together. Well, that's the intention. Keep the standing knee soft. And then you can either stay here or you can bring the left arm forwards and then take hold of the inside edge of the right foot. And if you like, the arm can be forward or you can bend the arm and come into Jin Mudra where the tip of the thumb and the index finger are touching. So root down through your standing foot. And then when you're ready, you're slowly gonna bring the back toes up towards the sky and reach the arm forwards. Gaze is looking forwards. And take a moment here to focus on your drishti. Okay, so a point that isn't moving. Pressing away from your standing foot. And if you fall, who cares? The mat will catch you. <laughs> Just come back to this posture, dancer, Natarajasana. And enjoy this posture. And perhaps connect to the mantra, I choose to love myself. Okay, so when you're ready, slowly release the left arm down by your side. And then one more time, reach the right knee up, ground down through your standing foot, interlace the fingers around the front of the shin, lengthen through the crown of the head, draw the shoulder blades down the back body. And this time we're gonna bring the left hand to the left hip crease. Right hand remains on the knee and you can stay here or you can slowly bring the knee out towards the side. So still standing up nice and tall, focusing on your drishti, lifting up from the pelvic floor, or you can stay here, or if you prefer, you can take hold of your right big toe, still standing up nice and tall, and extend the leg out long. Okay, so press down through your standing foot, lengthen through the crown of the head. Okay, so when you're ready, we'll slowly release. Bring the knee back to the side. And then when you're ready, slowly bring the knee back to center, slowly release the foot to the mat and just take a moment here to have a bit of a playful moment. Ah, oh, that feels great. I choose to love myself. Okay, so one more time, we'll bring the feet together. And this time we're gonna send our weight into our right foot. Okay, so press away from your standing foot, careful not to collapse in the right hip. Lift up from the pelvic floor, arms are by your side, and then slowly peel the left knee up. And then just take a moment here to rotate the ankle in one direction, followed by the other. So press into all four corners of the foot evenly, because that will help you with your balance here. Okay, then slowly interlace the fingers around the front of the shin. Draw the shoulder blades down the back body, standing up nice and tall, focusing on your drishti 
and you can either stay here or if you prefer you can slowly lower the knee towards the ground and take hold of the outside edge of your left foot and slowly bring the knees together and if you want you can hold the foot with both hands okay so careful not to grip in the toes and one more time you can either stay here or you can take hold of the inside edge of your left foot reach the right arm forwards plug the shoulder in or you can bend the elbow and perhaps come into Jin Mudra on this side okay so when you're ready standing knee is nice and soft slowly reach the heart and the chest forwards hug everything into the midline root down through your standing foot and just take a moment here to be okay so slowly lower the knee slowly lower the arm and one more time peel the knee up towards the chest interlace the fingers around the front of the shin standing up nice and tall okay this time the right hand comes to rest gently on the outside edge of the right hip left hand remains on the knee and then slowly we're going to slowly bring the knee out towards the left hand side ground down through your foot and you can either stay here breathing into the left hip or if you prefer you can take hold of the big toe slowly extend the leg out long with your hand on your hip or you can bring your hand out towards the side okay so when you're ready slowly release the leg one more time take hold of your knee standing up nice and tall inhale slowly bring the knee back to center one more time interlace the fingers around the front of the shin slowly stand up nice and tall okay so when you're ready slowly release the left foot down to the mat with grace and control and just take a, another playful moment here ah oh, perhaps let, let's just shake the arms here because it feels so good so in any direction that you wish Ooh, that feels great okay so one more time feet are hip width distance apart bring the hands to heart center slowly soften the knees reach the fingertips up towards the sky look up exhaling slowly floating your beautiful fingertips down towards the mat great good job plant the palms step the right toes back followed by the left soften the knees ankles together knees together send the hips back and we're just going to take a moment here to come into child posture balasana so sitting up nice and tall swim the fingertips back inhaling exhaling slowly to soften forwards bringing the forehead to the mat or one more time you can make your palm pillow or your fist pillow so whichever feels good for you and just take a moment here to breathe in to your beautiful body and just take a moment here to relax soften the skin of the face the tongue the jaw and the mouth and just take a moment here to be one more time coming into the present moment and allow your body to soften. Okay, so when you're ready, slowly rise up, bring your palms to your sides, swing the legs round to any side of your choice okay and um, bring the feet together knees are shining up towards the sky okay palms come behind the thighs and when you're ready we're going to inhale exhaling slowly lowering to the mat vertebra by vertebra ah that feels great just take a moment here to hug the right knee into the chest followed by the left and then interlace the fingers around the front of the shins and just take a moment here to rock gently here from side to side Ah, oh, that feels great. Feeling that beautiful massage in the lower back. Still softening through the skin of the face. 
and then when you're ready bring your arms out to shoulder height with the palms facing down and then the lower spine is flushed with the mat okay great good job and then when you're ready we're going to inhale in exhaling slowly sending the knees over towards the left hand side and as you do this the shoulder blades remain in contact with the mat if the right shoulder blade comes up don't bring the knees as far over inhale slowly come back to center exhaling over to the right broaden through the shoulders Inhale, come back to center, and then just take a moment here to move in your own time. Stopping whatever feels good for you. Wow, it feels amazing. And one more time, perhaps connecting to the mantra, I choose to love myself. Ah, oh, that feels great. Okay, so if you just do it one more time to each side. So as you do this, press down through your palms and the forearms. Okay, slowly bring the knees back to center. Then we're gonna extend the right leg out long, followed by the left, creating space in between the heels. Allow the feet to gently flop to the sides. Arms are by your sides with the palms facing up towards the sky. Pelvis is nice and soft, legs are soft. Belly is soft. Create space in between the toes and the fingers. Space in the armpit chest. Relax through the face, the tongue, the jaw and the mouth. And feel that beautiful contact between the body and the mat. allowing your body to relax and rest. Allowing the nutrients of your practice to be absorbed. And take a moment here to let go. and know that you're amazing for showing up on the mat today. And perhaps one more time connecting to the mantra, I choose to love myself. allowing the body to become more quiet and more still. And allowing the body to deeply relax. Okay, so you can either stay here in Shavasana, or if you'd like, you can slowly bring your hands to the third eye, your inner eyebrow space. And just take a moment here to massage your inner eyebrow space with your thumbs. Feeling that connection to your highest self. Okay, so we're going to close the practice by taking a deep inhalation in together, in through the nose. And a long exhalation out through the mouth. Okay, so one more time, a deep inhalation in through the nose. And as we exhale out through the mouth, we say the beautiful words, Namaste. Namaste.